Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, freeze frame made simple in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so there's an old way of doing a freeze frame where you stretch out a still image and that's a waste because you have to save an image, make sure you keep the image with the file, it's a big pain in the ass. I'm not even gonna show you that way because that's just an old ass way that doesn't work. There's new options and it's called frame hold in the newest version of Premiere Pro. Let's go have a look. So here I've got a clip of Mr. Skateboarder and he pops up and I want to hold the freeze frame at this point. If you right click inside your clip and look at the frame hold options, add a frame hold and in insert frame hold segment. Let's go look at the frame hold options. Every single time, every single clip has a frame hold option. It's just usually turned off. And when it's turned off, you see the full clip. If it's turned on, then you will only see one frame. The options in here are time. That's the current time down here. So if I move this time earlier and clicked OK, it's now going to hold on that frame. So that's one option. I can also do it to the end point. So that's the end point of the video and it looks like that throughout the whole video. Or we could go to the very last frame same thing, frame hold options, out point, and it's the out point, or where I've got it right now, which is the playhead. All right, I wanted to make sure you understood what that setting does, because if you start with that setting, you'll be all mixed up. You're like, why am I just taking my whole video clip and making it one frame? There's a reason for that, hold on. Let's go back and turn this off, Frame hold options, turn hold off. All right, so we get to this point here. This is where we want the freeze frame to be. Right click and instead of frame hold options or add a frame hold, which I'll show you right now, add a frame hold holds it for the remainder of the clip. So here's our beginning and boom, it holds it for the remainder of the clip. I don't wanna do that. I want to actually start up again after. So I wanna hold this frame and then continue on. That's what the third option is. Insert frame hold segment. That's the important one. Click, boom, now let's watch this. Hold, bang. I told you it was made simple. That's so freaking easy. I didn't have to export and import a still image and stretch it out. The duration here by default is two seconds. What if we want to make this quicker or shorter? Well, we're going to use the rolling edit tool because that will ripple, ed sorry, the, the ripple edit tool because that's going to ripple everything back and forth for us. Or you can just use the regular selection tool and hold the control key on the Windows command on Mac and you see how it changes to yellow. Or we could come over here here and get the uh, ripple edit tool. So if I want this quicker, I'll drag it back. The rest of this comes back over here. Boom, shorter, boom, there we go. What if I wanted it longer? Drag it out longer. It's going to push all of that down in here. So we go to here, bang, hold, hold, and back again. Now, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with this. While he's up in the air, I'm gonna to go to the effects controls opacity, and I'll make sure I have no keyframes on here. Yes, I wanna clear all my keyframes off, and I wanna just darken that down. So now watch this. He goes up, it holds, and it's a little bit more transparent, and then starts again. Uh, the reason I wanna do that is because I'm gonna stick in an ad uh, in here for the doctor, so having a little uh, bit of fun here. So let me extend this out a little bit, control, drag that out, and now watch. Let's watch the whole thing. So boom, there he goes, and hit that up. Oh, Dr. Bone Fixer comes in, go away, and continue along. 
yes, I like to have fun with my demos. <laughs> but frame hold, freeze frame as it's, it's um, called a lot. There you go, that's how simple it is. Insert a frame hold segment, and I could go into that segment and uh, choose a different point inside there, but I think you get the idea. Hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button for video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Yeah.